Right, hello everybody, welcome to game two of Dorf Dorf Dorf. Uh, Down TV versus Orcs. Sergo, the cheat uh, from UC. An absolute scumbag. Uh, cheater. Piece of shit. Is what he is. We will absolutely buy a wizard against him because fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do it with humans because humans have the ogre for your mighty blow blitz, right? But I think having a mighty blow is it's good. It is good. And especially in ladder, it gets your concession more as well, doesn't it? Is he disconnecting, reconnecting? Is he? That wouldn't surprise me. Apparently, in my racing, you probably just need to refresh fan folks. Because I changed it to double double E and then uh, Blood Bowl 2 after that. Funny enough, I like to give Undead Whites Mighty Blow first, just because they want Tackle, cause just because you want a Mighty Blow Tackler, right? So I tend to give them Mighty Blow because they're your only Tacklers. Well, not your only, but they're, they're, your, they're your only way to get Mighty Blow Tackle. Well, though not now with Piling On being gone, so now you might go Mighty Blow on the Ghouls again. Um, but... <laughs> yeah, go first, he always has done. <sighs> yeah, it is, but rather than guard Kiwi. Because uh, what it used to be that if you ever rolled a double on a ghoul, you would take Mighty Blow. So then you would have a movement 7 Mighty Blow Tackler. But then when Piling On came along, you didn't want to do that because then. Um, sorry, let me play Blood Bowl for a minute. Um, you didn't want to do that anymore once there was. Uh, once piling on was a thing, right? Because you want. You want Pom Tackle, you don't want. You don't want uh, mighty blow tackle. You want pom tackle. So in twenty twenty, the fact that you can't have a pom tackler means getting a mighty blow tackle is much much kind of easier and more important. If you like. Nearly picked the skull by mistake. Let me just think here. Yeah. This is fun. Please, not a skull. Phew. Please, not a skull. <laughs> I guess I should move him over there and him up here. Hey. Alright, pretty good. Maybe I should have taken guard. Ooh. 
Yeah, it's the last saga, but on the other hand, if you're playing if you're playing nine AV versus nine AV, even if you stop them scoring, you might get outbashed. Whereas this way you might outbash them and then it's probably gonna be a draw, right, isn't it? If, like it's a slightly bad matchup with him having the strength and it's not having card. It's like it's a kind of a slightly bad matchup, so I think receive and have you know should get a draw. Yeah, exactly, cool face. That's the thing, that's why if I was PI, I would have not let in Sergal and Arzawa in, even if I was like best friends with them. Which I wouldn't be because they're cheats. But if I was, I wouldn't let them in because it just exactly what you say, Google first colour, yeah. It just it just It immediately casts casts doubts over your lovely uh, thing, doesn't it? <laughs> Yes, fight so fight. He has cheated thousands of dollars from uh, legitimate players on PlayStation 4. He has cheated thousands of dollars away. Him and his cheating buddies have cheated thousands of. Uh, no, don't don't say that, Kiwi. I know, but it's still fucking disrespectful as fuck, isn't it? Just don't be a... <laughs> Just don't be a prick. Alright, <laughs> 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 so two players, where can the ball go? I don't really want to have it in front of these... Uh... I've got the wrong square here. Fuck me. I've got a GFI. Then he goes there, doesn't he? And he goes here. I've got a GFI. Got away with it. No, I didn't see this guy. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty fucked up. Yeah, the, and that's the thing, right? Circle's still pretty good at Blood Bowl. Like, he's not terrible or anything, he's still pretty good. And that's what made it worse, because these guys were pretty good, and they were playing on PlayStation, and then they're not having to fight each other. So, you know... <laughs> Poor old calcium's there, spinning into 
spinning into them is, you know if there's I don't know how many good coaches there were in the UC but like let's say there's four good coaches out of about I think there was something like four of the top ten were in the UC or four or five out of the top ten maybe even six out of the top ten so those six in the top ten they weren't fighting half of the top ten right or if it was like five out of the top nine then because they're one of them four out of the top eight they don't have to fight or play whatever you want to call whatever you want to call blood ball um <laughs> so because they don't have to play these teams you know they rack up wins and everything whereas poor old fuckers like calcium are having to play these other teams and then getting a worse result because of it yeah and because of the because of the player base being so much smaller as well made it worse yeah yeah, that, that yeah, the crossplay should should basically completely stop that, shouldn't it? Well, these black oaks are a pain in the ass. I probably should have fucking gone with mighty bow, shouldn't I? Oh, gosh, shouldn't I? Glorious school. <laughs> I play on Xbox. Oh no! <laughs> have you uh? Yes, <laughs> glorious. Thank you very much. Skuro's Miss O. Pretty annoying. The, the Blackhawks are just too hard to deal with. One guy would have made a big difference. Stupid. Like if this guy was the guard where he stands up and then you've got two dice, two dice, two dice. Everything's good, isn't it? But instead, this asshole's got mighty blow and can't even punch anybody. I mean, it's not worst possible, but it's it's not a great matchup, is it? You could 1D, then I could blitz him. Or 1D him away. I want to blitz him. Fuck it. I want, I want to blitz him, so I will. <laughs> Good. Shove that up your arm, Marie. Ass, you idiot thrower. Get a 1D. Beautiful. And that's a 2D with Mighty Blow, then, as well, isn't it? Oh, lovely. Glad I got that. Super helpful. Maybe I shouldn't re-roll. No, I had to. He was in the cage. That would, that would have been terrible. I had to re-roll that double skull, I think. Uh, it's a good question, Taco Cat. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say three percent effort. <laughs> <laughs> Blood Bowl 3, Dorf, Dorf, Dorf. I score 3% effort. Maybe I shouldn't have done the 1D, he had block.
<laughs> Getting the removal was nice on the weak link. It's pretty annoying, isn't it? It's hard for him. He used to be his mighty blow stuck in a black hole. He has used his blitz this turn though, so... so that's good, isn't it? He could 1D and then run up there. But I kind of don't mind him where he is. Uphill him and then 1D him. Didn't even kill him. What a joke. are very tough here yeah, the extra strength. Like, they're kind of tough for everybody early on, aren't they? But, um, especially for dwarves when the orc slowness isn't so much of a disadvantage. And the orc strength is still like is I mean the orc strength is always a big advantage versus everybody, but you don't have your guard yet, do you? These dwarves at this stage. Yeah, but particularly dwarves. <laughs> right. Do I one D him and then two D? Nah. Do I uphill? Nah. How do I get forward? <laughs> Fuck me. Kinda need the knockdown here, don't I? Look a dog. Oh, this is really rough. Quite like this guy's holding them up, but eventually he's got to not be. It's too bad if he goes down uncontested on the one day. Oh, I did I fucking dodge the wrong square. The fucking autopathing rolled a three anyway. I guess it's alright as well because he's not on the sideline anymore, so that's alright. Yeah, sometimes blob skills. You, you, to be fair, you're a lot less likely to lose against rats if you actually remove some rats. <laughs> Yeah, no, so tricky for Skaven. 
whereas they should be pretty easy for dwarves, right? Racial matchups matter a bit. But orcs are pretty strong versus everybody at low TV. Like, obviously, it depends if people are good at Blood Bowl or not. And to be fair, so most of the time, <laughs> the, most of the people you spin into are terrible at Blood Bowl. So, <laughs> if you're Skaven, it, does, it doesn't matter so much if they're terrible, if they've got orcs, because they're going to play terrible. And you're going to be able to do something against them. But it's harder to use your superior skill as dwarves against orcs because they hurt derp you and they're stronger than you and you're all slow and it's just not very good um so in this case it like circle is good but even if he wasn't he's still just got more strength and in this case he hasn't got more mighty blow and more guard but he could also have more guard and more mighty blow and it's not really going to matter how good you are as another bash team He's just gonna get fucked. It's tricky, like it's not a winnable or anything, is it? It's just tricky. Oh, I should have done the one day. The strength four assholes are annoying. Would it be less annoying if I'd got the guarder? Right, obviously if he wants to surf him, that's a complete waste of his time. Two, three, four, five, six, GFI. GF one, two, three, four, five, six, GFI. And I've got to uphill block him. <laughs> Get up there. <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, prick. That was a nice <laughs> removal, wasn't it? So, that, annoying all those dice to knock down this black hole, because, like, obviously that could mean two people further in front, and now there's, like, loads of people behind the ball, which is not great. Yeah, it was a nice removal for sure. It's getting to the point where the removals aren't going to matter too much though, I need to uh, bust through. Yeah, only one KO chance will be nice, won't it, if it's a nil-nil. That's a good point with a wizard. I mean, you can hypothesize that, but you're completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels true, exactly, yeah. It does feel that way, for sure. 
Yeah, the wizard, the wizard could swing the second half, especially if these kills don't come back. And that's the thing. That's why I hate kicking in these kind of matchups. Because even if things go well, and you completely outplay your opponent and stop him scoring, you can end up in a worse situation for the second half. Oh yeah, that, those ones. Yeah, they also seem worse, don't they? Is he gonna go for the? Uh... Oh no, he's gonna go for the blitz tag. Okay, that makes that makes actual sense, doesn't it? One of the rare occasions where basing the ball makes sense. Right, so the question is, do I just block him and surf him and then run up? No, it's hard to protect against that guy, isn't it? I've got to dodge away with him and tag him somehow. He can get there. He he tags him. Fuck me. That's not what I needed. <laughs> this turn. The dub skulls was not what we needed. He can block him off, which sucks. He can also block him off, which also sucks. Shawnee flashlights. I think I've got to go fuck block yourself. Him. He's not in range, is he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, what can I do with him? Uphill. He's his only scoring threat? No, he's got two turns. But he's the main scoring threat. But sculling there is terrible. <laughs> and sculling here isn't really terrible. And even getting a push is good. I was pretty lucky after the dub skulls. <laughs> like that was all kind of decent, do decent odds, wasn't it? If if it was a reroll, but uh, having to do it all without a reroll was very scary. But uh, yeah, it's just well a three plus, three plus, four plus, or two three pluses, and then all. all Almost automatic knockdown, isn't it? So he should get the ball here. Oh, 
Would have been nice if he hadn't got it. Lona though, this could fail. Hey. <laughs> I was double one anyway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fucking, how do I even push him? I just can't, can I? Ah, uh, push him. Push him. No. No. Push him, push him, push him. Right, here we go. This is it. Easy. No. Let's just try to uh, knock that, this guy down so he can't score. Good chain him at the moment. Now he gets harder to chain. Probably impossible to chain. Keep him on there, it makes me easier to get the 2D, but if you get the 2D anyway, then I don't want the 2D, then might the blow to him. Lovely. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> so that could have gone worse, couldn't it? If these stay out, it could be looking good. Even 10 v 11 isn't bad, is it? <laughs> I would have rather scored. Obviously. Both come back, of course they fucking do. Of <laughs> course they fucking do. It's annoying because I can't help but care this game because <laughs> I'd like Sergal to never win another game of Bloodborne in his life, especially not to me. <laughs> right. Oh man, imagine if you had nine guys. This would have been looking pretty good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so he's going to just try and get the touchdown at all, I guess. You've got to be prepared to use the wizard quite aggressively. Oh, 
It, you would think so, wouldn't you? It's just, well, but what happened was they got banned from PS4 for a, like a couple of weeks and then uh, and never got banned on PC. So there you go. They just got to enjoy the thousands of dollars that they cheated out of legitimate players. I think they got spanned for like a couple of seasons, so like, what, eight weeks? Something like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, Tony, that wouldn't surprise me. That was an incredible kick, wasn't it, if only his uh, throw had been out. But even with him, that's still one turn to get it. Two, three, four... Five, six, seven, eight. He's like he's almost going max movement just to score it all. All making a pass play. Obviously having all this extra strength sucks. Especially with four rerolls, he can reroll all these one in nines that he rolls from his black oaks if he ever does. Yeah, maybe he's going to go for the pass to the blitzer or handoff. Makes sense. Quite a few back to defend the ball. Very nice. Take him away from the real fight. Of course, since he's got <laughs> four string four, he can he can afford to be outnumbered here a bit, but still. Just gonna do a pass. I thought he would. No, he didn't. I thought he would have done that. Got to hit the furthest forward guy. I would love to have done the GFI to hit him with mighty blow, but I couldn't. Play. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, I, <laughs> I don't want to come across like I completely hate the guy or anything, but he was a twat about it. Like, he was just... His initial reaction was just, you're all jealous of us and stuff. Like, he... He was a bit of a knob, which didn't help. And, like, it isn't the worst thing in the world, is it? It's the worst thing you can do in the context of a game of Blood Bowl is cheat, obviously. So when Nethius said... It's not like he's a war criminal or anything. 
I was like, no. But a war criminal does the worst thing you can possibly do in a war. And he's done the worst thing you can possibly do in a game of Blood Bowl. So. <laughs> It wasn't, uh... It wasn't a million miles away. Even, obviously, the seriousness is nothing like each other. Uh, there were a few fights all fight. I can't remember what the stats were, but it was something like six of the top ten were in the UC. I mean, Hawker doesn't really play on PS4, Chug. He was, he was on the PS4 team. Um, he was on the PS4 team in the cross-platform cup, cup because he played, what, two games on there. He wasn't, like, CCL regular. Yeah, that's true. A one actually, you can go zero zero one and qualify. Incredibly. Hey. Boo. Could put him up there, blitz him, and then get the 1D on there, then get the 2D on there. But then I'm really out of position over here. I'll go to GFI, and then get a 1D, then a 2D, and then a 1D and a blitz. Yeah, okay. Fucking double skull, baby. Get the fuck in. It's a nine eight. Stop, stop fucking firing everything! Maybe I should have done the safe play of just moving him in there and blitzing him on two. Yeah, I should have done, shouldn't I? I should have done the safe move and just getting more guys across. Nah, maybe not though. I quite like that. That was a 2 plus to then get a 2D and then another 2 plus to get another 2D and then there was a much bigger payoff. It was riskier, but a lot bigger payoff. And the situation's pretty bad at the moment, so I wouldn't mind if a nice payoff. Four rerolls. So no, I'm fine with that actually. Well, the, the temptation is always just to do the safe thing, isn't it? Ah, oh, shit. Maybe I should have done. Don't know the answer. 
That was basically anything, but no, I think it was right. It was only a 1 in 36 that was bad, really. Yeah, no, I'm happy. I'm happy with that being the right... the right play. And just bad dice. This is nice getting that black oak stranded over there now. I think he's lost control of the centre now, hasn't he? So that's nice. Lovely KO. <laughs> yes, yeah, Seagull. Yeah, I pause that even though it's not going to be for long. Blitz him. Fucker. That was a quite a good recovery turn, wasn't it? For the uh, the stun. <laughs> good apple, though. Alright, we can start thinking about using the wizard now, I guess. The wizard is coming into play from this turn on. This could be a fireball, couldn't it? That's three huge targets. Oh. 
The old 1D blitz. Go. Yes, and again, just like I did. No. No, that would have been far too reasonable, wouldn't it? How good is the fireball here? Free him up and free him up. Good bolt. Push him into there, block him. Not push him into there, block him. And then. A boss. Oh, I did the wrong thing after all that. Oh, well. That was all right. He can't score. He realistically can't. He can. <laughs> Dof, 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 dof. Getting very tricky for him now, isn't it? Especially with a wizard in hand. I guess getting the touchdown, the counter touchdown to win, means I've got to fireball this turn or bolt this turn. Yeah, I, I, obviously he's got a decent chance to win still, and I've got very little chance to win. But he's still like, he's got to be nervous because he's still got a good chance to draw. Whereas, <laughs> I'm nervous because I've still got a good chance to lose. And he's nervous because he's still got a good chance to draw. It depends, Skuro, the, the, it depends what's best. I'll do what's best. If, if the fireball is better odds, I'll do the fireball. Because that's the right thing to do. I, what I'm not going to do ever is like a stupid attrition fireball. I'm never going to do like another stupid attrition fireball. But like, you know, if there's three players and you knock any of them down and you get a shot on the ball, that's better than a bolt, isn't it? So that's unlikely to be the case. <laughs> In fairness. So it probably will be a bolt. You can be my wingman anytime. Know.
Oh, glorious. Bullshit. You can be mine. Elliot the Marbles Man. Thank you very much for the massive raid. Absolutely glorious. Thank you very much. Up against a cheating scumbag in this game. <laughs> you may know him oh, as Serga. Um, and... <laughs> See, like here, a fireball there looks pretty good, doesn't it, right? Five players? Five man fireball? <laughs> that looks pretty good. Now we're not so good, now that he's gone back. And how good does the boat look here? I might have to. I think I might have to. Fucking knew I wouldn't knock him over. Turn 14, 13 here, 14 there, 15, so it's rough, isn't it? I've got to get moving with a ball carrier. square fall. <laughs> He's got to get served. Nice. Right. He's under the cosh now, isn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, double GFI to score. Yeah, the, uh, the stun on the Org throw was nice. Ah, he's probably going to go for the touchdown here, right? He can push, go in there, 1D, and then dodge away and pass and score. And that's probably what he's going to go for now, because it's looking that bad for him. Oh no, he went the wrong way. Interesting. Failed as well. Don't like I don't like his play there. Well I mean I like it, but I don't think it was the right play. <laughs> I lied. Yeah, I wanted to hit him with Mighty Blow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, GFI. And that puts... Double GFI puts us safe. Failed pickup here is pretty horrible. So I guess don't move the second guy yet. That's the two GFIs done. Fucking A.
Let's fucking go! <laughs> it's not GG, but it's uh, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, you can base the ball with the black oak and stuff. <laughs> yeah, it shouldn't be a loss. It shouldn't be a loss. To be fair, a loss. I think. I think a loss would be very unlucky. I think that's fair to say. The draw looks secured. Wow, he didn't re-roll that. I'm not even going to base the ball. Can't believe he didn't re-roll that. He had to re-roll that, didn't he? It's funny how people won't make the rolls that they've got to re-roll, isn't it, sometimes? Like, okay, you're always naturally, like, risk-averse and what have you in Blood Bowl, but you've got to re-roll that. You just have to. Oh, he's got this, he's got this chap. Interesting. So I've got to go on the sideline and not get blitzed by him. There's got to be a way, hasn't there? There's got to be a way to free this guy. I mean, I don't want to just 1D. I guess I could just 1D. And then 1D. He can go in there. He can 1D. He can 1D. Then he can tag. What do I do about the blitz? One D blitz as well. Do I GFI? I think I've got to do these first. I've got to re-roll them. The GFI I'm safe from him. him. <laughs> he can punch him. <laughs> All the pals. Oh baby. Right, now do I GFI? I think I have to because it makes it so much harder for him. He's out of range. Didn't put, put him. That was that was a hell of a turn of dwarfing, wasn't it? So it's real hard for him to hit the ball. I guess I could have just made it impossible. I could have just stood on the sideline. But then he would have definitely done the blitz to to base, to base would then, wouldn't he? 
which might have been better or worse. Who can say? Oh well, of all the people to beat in CCL, <laughs> this is the one I'm most happy to beat. Three, four, five, six, seven. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can't make it three dice. Dorf, dorf, dorf. <laughs> that was a hell of that was some really good there were some really good turns there, weren't there? <laughs> Get off my fucking pitch, prick. Yeah, I don't know, maybe I'm too harsh on him, but I don't know he did he was part of the group that cheated thousands of dollars out of genuine players, so it's it's hard not to think of him as a bad person, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, probably. Hey! Level up for the Blitzer. Glorious. 63 blocks to 44. That was a lot of blocks. A lot of GFIs. 14 GFIs past them all. That's some good rolling, isn't it? I knew I'd, I knew I'd roll pretty well on the GFIs. 43, 34, 40. That's all right blocks in it. 30, 27, 32, so pretty good block dice from him. His GFIs were 50 50. Ha 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 Justice! <laughs> Justice! Oh, it was 90%, and he did have a mighty blow guy, didn't he? His armor was 87, to be fair. <laughs> Oh, guard. Ooh, movement isn't bad, but it's still guard. Right, so we've got a glorious guard. That's nice. Uh, we've got lots of people in MVP away. If this was, if this was Blood Bowl uh, 16 rules, these three would be getting MVP in the next three games, and it would be guaranteed dwarf levels, which would be really good, wouldn't it? But, um... Uh, so that you can hit with Mighty Blow every turn, kill Matronics. He's got tackle as well, hasn't he? So, and it was the first level, so like you're getting him having Mighty Blow for so much longer is going to get him. Uh, not in Blood Bowl 2020, Muppet. No, because I want to redraft to this team every time. <laughs> right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.